What's up, everybody? We had another CSS battle for you today. We're gonna try to replicate this and see who can do it in what is it? The the least amount of code is is how you, and and the accuracy is how your score is calculated. So, are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna give this one up. So, first of all, style tag. Oh, stike. The body is going to be background this color. Let's start off with that. All right, we're in good shape already. So now I need three divs. This looks like a bunch of rectangles, so we're gonna start there. Uh, let's just go set the background to uh, blue. And I guess we'll try to use this trick here with like BG color. I'm using this body BG color trick. I can do this in, let's see, a couple of paragraph tags, I think. So we're gonna have P and we can just have this P A and then I'm going to have P and we'll have this P B. A, I'm going to use a P tag as one, two, three. The P tag is going to have a background of E, E G B 850. We have the background as blue. Now we need a rectangle. So we'll use a P tag with an attribute selector. I'll just use X. So if I want to style the element with the X attribute, I want to give it this background color and then we'll give it a width and a height. I kind of want to turn the margin on everything off because you can see that it, I mean, because I'm probably going to fix position these. Let's, yeah, let's just do fix position and get it from the left hand side in the exact spot first. I'm going to target just the A. I've learned some lessons here. People in the comments have been giving us tips and tricks and I'm learning them. So we're going to say this thing is height 100 picks with, I know that you can ignore the whatever uh, stuff, but I am actively trying to get this done first and foremost and then optimize later. Oh my gosh, I'm like actually nervous. Should I be doing what CJ does and just put it all on one line like a madman? Okay, we're gonna to display grid, grid, template, column, no, grid, gap, 20 PX. Okay, how do I get the height on these paragraph tags? Set position as fixed. This will have a top of let's say 20, and a left of let's say 50. So I just want to get the top right corner perfectly aligned more from the left. Yeah, so 100, 110 from the left, including its margin. And then from the top, it's probably like 15. Yeah, so that's perfectly aligned with the top left corner. Let's get the width exactly right. We'll say margin top is like one picks here. Uh, margin top two, margin top three. Why isn't this margin topping? Oh, okay, there we go. And the width is now a problem. So we'll say 80 picks. We'll say 60 picks. We'll say 70 picks. Boom, perfect, dead on. All right, now we're gonna do a box shadow on this thing. Justify items, center. Okay, align items, stretch. Oh, this needs to be height. Oh, can I just do this on the body? Let's try. No, that didn't work. Abort. Now let's get the exact height. Try 100 and 40, 50, 60, 70. Let's just try a height of 100. That's too much. Height of 80, 70. Cool. Yeah, so that's exactly it. So this is our inner rectangle, and this is gets repeated for every single one. So let's just get this repeated three times. So we've got the first one, and then to repeat it, I'll do a box shadow. I actually heard a neat trick we'll say color is going to be this E color. And if you do that, you don't have to specify color on the box shadow, box shadow. And we're gonna do a box shadow. This is going to be in the X dimension. It's gonna be negative 70 picks. It's going to be uh, downwards 100 picks. It is going to have a whatever of, of zero. And then I believe that's it. Okay. So let's see this diff. Okay. So that's kind of there. Where's my border? One PX solid red. Okay. So this thing needs to be a height 100%. Okay. Box sizing border box. That didn't help. All right. Screw this. I'm going, I'm going pixel, pixel pushing. This is such a bad idea. No. Oh my gosh. And I learned this trick in the YouTube comments. If I just set the color of everything to be this yellow, then that is what will be used for the box shadow. So if I set the color there, 
Now we have a box shadow, but it's not enough. Yeah, so 100 maybe offset. Can I do it without the PX? I can't. So we need the PX. Yes, we have that rectangle exactly in the spot that it needs to be. And now we can repeat it one more time. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, I cannot take too much time to celebrate. That has been my downfall, is that I have been uh, I've been doing too much celebrating. Um, I'm gonna copy and paste this stuff. And this one is going to be positioned and it's gonna be fixed. Okay, to get it out of the document flow, I'm gonna get rid of this box shadow on it right now. And I'm gonna turn it to be red so I can keep track of it. And the height is obviously less and I'm going to position it. We're gonna do left 100 picks. We're gonna say top of 30 picks. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Show me the diff. Okay, uh, pretty close, okay. The width, 49, 45. Okay, good, 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 okay. So it's looking good. I think at this point we just need a rectangle, sorry, a square that will then use the box shadow for to repeat it everywhere else. Now let's get a larger square that we then repeat. So I'll add another P tag, give it a Y attribute. Um, I'm gonna style P and Y all have the same stylings, but we'll reposition uh, Y. We want the left to be 110, perfect. We want the width now to be 60, even more perfect. I'm not playing y'all, I'm not playing. Now I'm gonna do the same box shadow trick where I'm gonna say, we're gonna go positive 100 picks, zero, and then zero. Where'd, I, where'd that thing go? This is why I wanted to get rid of margin because you can see when I do top zero, it's right there. So let's actually, we'll have to do a negative margin, negative 10. Let's see, it's not quite it, negative five, closer. The left needs to be increased. Feeling good? All right, now we need those cutouts. Or are they cutouts or cut-ins? The first and last I'm going to add. So I'm gonna give myself an A. A after display block. Content is nothing. Height is 110%. Background is red. Width is 50 px oh is is can i leave off the px is that was that the move yes look at all this i'm saving i've learned something from these okay if i actually i don't need the spread on this that is a good lesson to learn i think i'm gonna have time to optimize this hopefully we got three minutes left 60 k top negative 5px. Okay, so I think that's the right spot, but it's too wide, so it needs to be smaller. So let me try 60. Yeah, 60 looks like that's the right amount. Watch this move. Background, inherit. What? Is that any shorter than using the hex code? I'm not sure, but it's a cool move, so I'm gonna keep it in there. All right, now let's put the diff on here. Okay, we need this thing to be a little bit wider. And then it needs to be moved over to the left a little bit. So let's just try like 165. 364, 65, 66, 67. 100 picks, we're gonna say 25 picks. We're gonna say, we're gonna type in numbers till it works, folks. And then now I can just use this same one because it is 100 and I can say 200 picks. I know that it's 125 picks. And then this last one is going to be very simple, where it's just zero picks and then 200. Okay. Well, that's not looking very good at all. No. So that one's in the right spot. We can remove this background black. We only have three minutes left. Yeah, so I think for the top on this one, we'll do negative four and then give it a height of 80. Let's make these a little bit higher. Oh, that was good. I nailed that. Hell yeah. Watch this, 561, six, two. Give me, give me something much higher. Oh, that was only one up two. Well, that wasn't that good. And then let's submit this. I'm gonna get 100% and then I'm gonna have two minutes to optimize. So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. 100% met, baby. Okay, so the top one is exactly right. We have two minutes left. Basically, I just need to copy this one um, to all the other spots. So we'll add a box shadow. Yeah, why is it repeated three times? What what did I do here? Oh, because it's a box shadow of the entire thing, so I can't use box shadow on the overall element. Man! I, I can get rid of the picks here. Can I get rid of 
picks here. I can get rid of picks here. Oh man, I only got a minute left. Okay, so do I try? Why is this not, not working? Work, damn it. I need to style Y all its own. Let's get rid of some of this white space and the commas. I can get rid of these zeros. I think this is what I have to do. Yeah, because otherwise it was repeated on the others. Okay, I only have a minute left. I just need to repeat this a few times. So we'll have a box shadow, minus 165 in the X, 100 in the Y. Okay, so that was way too much. Why is that margin left not applying? I need my dev tools. Oh, it's it's the after. I have to add the after. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, Scott. What are you doing? You're fumbling with the keyboard? I'm like... Honestly, so nervous, I'm like shaking. Negative 55, that's exactly it. Okay, I only have 28 seconds left. I can. Sh I should be able to repeat this once more. Oh, no, S before. Oh shit, that was not good. I need to just duplicate this element really quickly. Um, so we'll have another one that has a maybe a positive 55X with 100 pixels Y. Yes, okay, 20 seconds left. Can I get the last one? S before. 100 pixels in the Y and then uh, zero pixels in the in the X. So 200 pixels in the Y. Yes, that's it. Five seconds left. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, we're taking this one off. Uh, uh, Scott's waving at me. I'm pretending to not see him. All right, guys, how did you do? Wes was well beyond the. T he was he was still pressing submit. He had uh, he had an extra 10 seconds there, but. Uh, We'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Folks. Thank you. Yes, I needed yes. it. I got to uh, try out some new optimization techniques, but I did not have enough time. How did, how did you guys do? It was harder than I thought. I start. I always panic and then start pushing pixels around, which is always the the wrong idea. Yeah, I'm worried that my fat fingering will cost me my my score here. But CJ, what do I do? am. <laughs> dis I'm mad because right now, let me let me let me. I'll show. I'll share mine first because I definitely didn't yeah. win. All but right. I just want to show you. So. Right now, if I check diff, it's completely black, right? It looks perfect. Yeah. But it's only a 90.7% match. It's because I'm zoom it's because I'm zoomed in. So if I zoom in <laughs> one, you can actually see that they're like I I I, I coded the whole time at this percentage, but <laughs> oh. there's like certain zoom levels where I couldn't I did I wasn't able to see the fact that what it, that it wasn't a perfect match. Oh, interesting it's like the I'm zoom of, too. i did only do it it's only 255 characters so if i would have seen that i probably would have gotten it but uh i only got a 90 percent, 90.7 percent match oh you did good yeah wow how did yeah how did you manage to do this you did two? i did okay yeah so it's two two elements uh you have the rectangle which is the same for each of them and then the square which is the same square just repositioned but mm. what i learned in the youtube comments is if you set color that mm -hmm. will be used for your box shadow Yes. So I set the color once, and then I didn't have to specify the color on any oh, of my box shadows. Oh, that's a good move. Yeah, but basically two elements, and then just repeat them a bunch with box shadows. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I took a very similar approach to CJ. I did manage to get 100% match, 619, 317 on the characters, but I would have had a lot less because I, I just ran out of time optimizing. Like, I have a fully blank line here. Like, this could have all been moved. But I did oh, the yeah. same trick as CJ where I set the color on the initial body and then used that for my box shadows. I did end up doing, like, one, two, three, four, whatever. I ended up doing, like, six box. I could have done it with less box shadows after seeing yours, CJ. So we, we would have had like very similar ones, but I, I think you, if given the time for optimization, if yours would have been bang on, you probably still would have beaten me because I did more box shadows. But yeah, I think we had very similar approaches. So nice work. That's yeah. that's really good. You're the winner. You beat me. Hold on. Let me share mine. I was, guys, I, I want to say I, I was so concerned about trying to be fast enough in winning this that I was literally shaking. I was like... <laughs> 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 Scott, you barely said a word during that entire thing. I've been using oh, them all because I've been talking too much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I switched to paragraph tags instead of divs, except for that first one. You can put a paragraph, you shouldn't put a paragraph inside of a paragraph, but that will still render, right? Why did you need Let's, the div? Uh, oh yeah, you're because I was using grid to oh. align them. But then I tried to put them in the body and grid the body, and then that wasn't working. And I just, there's no time to debug. So I was just like, screw it, you know? Yes. The 10 so minutes is tough. I it, it, you think 10 minutes, like to put a couple blocks on the screen is a lot of time, but it's not. 
yeah, I just pop the three different ones, different attribute selectors and and applying the before. The one thing I missed is this last little one. I was trying to duplicate the positioning of this box to the right. Mm. I didn't didn't have enough time. Mm. Wes, you got to get on the box shadow gang. I know. Yeah. Should have should have. You see a repeating shape, it's, it's box shadow time, baby. Oh man. Yeah, no, that's not bad. You got second place. Here's something yep. that I learned that I didn't know before this is that in a box shadow, if you don't specify the third value, there is no fuzzies. I didn't mm. know that you could omit that. I was putting zeros for all of them and then I oh, omitted that. And, yeah. I didn't know that either. So you the, could just do the X, the Y and have mount. it be a, yeah, you don't have to have a blur. You don't have to specify Damn. zero for blur, which I thought you did. That's good. My ignorance won out there because I didn't know that there was a third value, so I just never put it. Third, there's <laughs> four you know that box shadow has a like a, a blur value. Have you only used box shadow for like CSS not being a shadow? Yes, yeah. yes exactly. <laughs> yes. All right, CJ finally lost due to technicality. <laughs> But he lost, which I'll we're happy it. about. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Let us know if you want to see more of these. Leave a comment below, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Later. <laughs>